Now, it has been four years since the abrogation of Article 370 in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Winds have changed direction, and the sands of time have swept away the dust of the past. In our next report by our correspondent, Idris Lone, we give you the details of how new layers have settled in the valley. This is Srinagar, the summer capital of India's Jammu and Kashmir. Shikara's floating on the famous Dal Lake. Tourists enjoying the scenic landscape of the valley. These visuals tell a story of transcending changes in Kashmir, which is dubbed as Paradise on Earth. The footfall of tourists has increased more than ever. Policy initiatives and increased infrastructure spending boosted tourism in the region. Around 10.8 million tourists visited the valley in 2022. And the figures are expected to go up this year. In tourism sector, not only the films are being produced here, is being made here, is made here, but you can also see cinema halls also have been opened. And they also have a good traction of the people where people are now watching movies, a normal see, like in any other part of the country, you can see people are now enjoying their laser time also, through cinema also, family time and the picnic and the off-beat destination starting from Yusmark till the main destination be it Pahalgaon, Anant- Anantanag or Verinag, Kokarna, you can see everywhere. After 35 years, authorities allowed Muharram procession on the 8th and 10th day. Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha participated in Ashura procession along with Shia mourners. Recently also, you have seen for the last three decades, nobody was able to take call whether to allow that procession or not because of the contribution of the people, because of the peace situation prevailing here. It was easy for the administration to take the decision and all kudos to my people here, even those who participated in the procession. It was one of the most peaceful and elegantly taken out procession, excellently. So we can say that it's the dividend of the abrogation of the article that the pure integration with the country has happened and uh, people are also now very happy, I can see that. Foreign delegates from over 17 countries arrived in the valley in May. Ambassadors took part in the G20 meeting focused on tourism. Religious tourism also witnessed a rise this year. Devotees flocked to world-renowned Vaishno Devi Shrine and embarked upon Amarnath Yatra in record numbers. It's after 34 long years that the Kashmir government has allowed the Shia mourners to take out processions in the Kashmir Valley on the 10th and 8th of Muharram. As you can see in your visuals, we are in Srinagar's downtown area right now, which is the traditional route for the procession that the Shia mourners take on the 10th of Muharram. And hundreds and thousands of people have joined Uh, today together in this gathering, taking out a procession in Srinagar's old city. If we talk about the security uh, of this whole area, uh, we've seen that there have been barricades put at many uh, crossings to stop the traffic so that the mourners who are are a part of the procession can move easily all along the route in Srinagar's downtown area. There's a three-tier security system also in place uh, which Uh, which is giving a covering to the whole procession uh, which is going on in Srinagar's downtown area. So the government first allowing it and also making sure that the whole area is secure and placing uh, extra security personnel to secure the parameters of the procession. A whole new generation witnessed the magic of cinema on the big screens for the first time. People from far-flung districts travelled to Kashmir and queued up outside the cinema halls. From Bollywood to Hollywood, latest releases witnessed houseful shows. The beauty of Kashmir also found its way back to the big screens. Over 400 film shoots have been allowed since 2019 in the valley. 
तो यहाँ पे पहला सिनेमा हॉल खुला है आईनॉक्स द फर्स्ट सिनेमा हॉल हैज ओपन हियर and i come here often especially on the weekends and spend time here watching movies in cinema was considered a taboo but that is changing now it's so good to spend time with family and friends at this multiplex with the number of youngsters picking up guns coming down incidents of stone pelting reaching near zero development reaching new heights and normalcy returning to every aspect of life residents of the valley feel that change is here to stay for good With the Dries loan in Srinagar, pure report we on world is one.